Yeah. Uh, I was like, what do I need to start a podcast? Right. I was like Googling just that. Yeah. Right. And it's just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Self worth. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Knowing how to get out of the closet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. But they would not tell me. They were just like, it was so hard to find. It was just like, and there were there was like, it was already podcasting was like kind of big. Like right. I would think that you would need like three. It's like give me the camera I need, give me the fucking sound thing with Jiggy and the microphone that's good. Yeah. And it was just like that. There's none of that. It's always like. Well, you're going to need this, and this is going to need to plug into this other thing yeah. for some reason that has no relationship to recording sound. And yeah. It's just like, God damn it. Hey, give me the kit to make jello shots. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want the camera, the sound. I want the fucking producer in the box. Yeah. Throw yeah. it all yeah. in yeah. one yeah. small box. I'm telling you, Amazon oxygen. can't deliver. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure it gets here alive. Yeah. I don't yeah. give a fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Send me some stupid open micer. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's not you, Owen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, I, I was doing uh, my shit on Laugh Button and then I went, ah, fuck these people, I'm out. And then when I left, because we're going to start something else, I've just been doing Patreon only just in the middle. And I went, fuck it, I'm not doing video. I'm just doing audio only, theater of the mind. Let these motherfuckers think yeah. about what they see. And I've just been doing that for now. And I lost about 100 subscribers. <laughs> 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 well, hold on. I don't. I don't think that mentality is wrong. I think there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, podcasters that uh, you're fine with. And I'm not, this has nothing to do with looks. It's yeah. more personality driven and like inflection and like a lot of our comedy comes out of like you know the subtleties, right? Like, right. You know the the slight, you need the body language, the slight yeah. Ahead. Right. Yeah, 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 especially yeah. with us. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you are a body language king, so it's like Me? you can't. Yeah, yeah, no guy. pressure. No pressure. You're the body language king. Yeah. Yeah. No, Chris I, is already lying down. So this is. <laughs> dude, I, also, I was looking here. at myself last episode. I realized that, like, I feel like every episode I'm just <laughs> slowly yeah, you never know, dude. That, you never this know. couch is so yeah. deep. That we need just, a GoPro from the ceiling so we can, yeah. all, we can all hit the floor at some point. Yeah. yeah. All the mics just point here. We just lay, <laughs> lay, lay down and touch heads. Yeah. We should switch up, though. We need to switch up our visuals. What Why? do you mean? I don't know. <laughs> Make something right. interesting. Maybe once a month we go out back and do it around the fire. You yeah. know what I mean? That's That'd be fun. nice. It'd be nice. Summertime fire. Summertime. Yeah. Only thing you got to be careful people. about that's kind of annoying. Motherfucking wind. I was yeah. doing it on my porch uh, and it was like, you fucking bitch. Yeah. <laughs> You yeah. know, I realize. But you put that hairy pussy bouffant thing you over the top. Put the hairy bouffant on there. You'll be all right. <laughs> You're fine. You're fine. You, you can't blow through that. <laughs> and somehow the wind back there does whip. Rip. Dude, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Six, to, dude. six to seven every single night. Yeah, it, is it is fierce. Yes. It's tearing down power lines and stuff. It's <laughs> nuts. Somebody snipped our fucking, our, uh, our lights last, last summer. What? Yeah. Because yeah. I, got I got a little loosey-goosey and I wouldn't turn them off. And there's like uh, the back end of the this next building. Oh, is that what happened? So I think so. I started doing some investigation because they were yelling at us when we were hanging out with Sam Talent, like barbecuing, having a good time. Who was yelling at us? They weren't yelling, but they, you could hear them huffing and puffing. Were, <laughs> Listen, I think this might be in your head. Ooh, it's hundred percent my head, Greg. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, but I fucking, it's just the wind. I, no, yeah. <laughs> they're they're gentlemen that are you know they're like New Yorker tote bags of people. They're fucking <laughs> they're the fucking pansies that aren't enjoying you know the fact that we're enjoying life. Yeah, right? yeah. And there was a clean cut, and the wind that does pump through here. Yeah, is, it wasn't like torn. no, it was. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, That's right down fun. the middle. We should go fight them right we now. We should, dude. It's not a door. We should figure this out. That's another different location of a podcast. Dude, I would love to, I would love <laughs> to Patreon. like, I would love to screen print the Amazon order of those lights again. <laughs> Put that on a banner <laughs> and just hang it. And just knowing that it's like next day delivery. You know what I mean? It'll be, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's By the time the sun goes case. down again, yeah. those lights will be up. The count's like, you got a hundred thousand dollar budget on Backyard lights. <laughs> How am I gonna write this off, dude? This podcast is gonna be evidence to a murder when someone is found hung yeah, by yeah, rips yeah, 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 yeah. lights. Yeah. <laughs> it was almost me last night, man. I was in the dark hole. They're gonna be like Edison bulbs. Yeah, that's Tommy Pope. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's got gay written all over. <laughs> uh, the Strang Edison strangler is back. <laughs> I mean, did we start? Yeah. No. Oh, we did. Yeah, oh, we did. good. Why, like, do you need anything? You want a water or something? It's crazy yeah, it's that I don't have a water, but uh, 
No, I'm just There's kidding. water bottles in there. That was fun. Oh, yeah, there are. We got some water bottles. In, in some the merch room. Little Your room. action figure collection has picked up since Dude, last been I've been here. Greg, I'm so huge. fucking glad you brought this up. I hate those things. But, <laughs> but you're the reason I brought you on tonight because uh, we the, the, the Eagles lost the Super Bowl in a terrible fashion. And we needed some energy. <laughs> and I did no, it wasn't just energy. I wanted, we need a little I wanted the, the opposite energy. Yeah. Someone that, you know, has sex with fucking figurines as sex. opposed to puts their whole life into it. You know, if you're painting figurines, you don't put your whole life invested into a, a, a team that doesn't give a fuck about you. And I have a problem. So I hate to say this. But the Marvel movies have not been good in a few years. And I've kind of been going through the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's just like, what are we doing? I heard yeah. the, the quantum mania might not be great. I mean, I'm kind of in the same boat. Quantum mania might not be great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No shit. Quantum mania. They, they couldn't even get what the is, name. What right. is quantum mania? Do you guys know what a guest is? <laughs> <laughs> like a guest in your home? Have you heard of this? You usually treat them with respect. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we just got you a water. Dude, you can't disrespect it. Dude. I mean, <laughs> expecting the, movie. the Marvel movies to be good, I feel like, is it's up there with being a Jets fan. <laughs> it's like, it's like, I hate Jets fans. It's man. hopeless, dude. <laughs> it's fucking hopeless. I'll say this, though. I want to say this. I, and uh, wait till the sentence is over before Jesus. you reach over and try to fucking punch me in the face. <laughs> I have hated Philly fans my whole life, but this Super Bowl. Hurt me because of you guys, Foley. Because yeah. I was just sitting here like, I don't want, this is not, these poor fucking sons of bitches. And I was like, maybe they, Dude, you know. I stayed an extra day in Philly. I Like today, I was in Philly and, uh, and yesterday, and I was walking around, and you could hear a pin drop. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Yeah. Really? Downtown Philadelphia. I'm not. I'm, it was eerily silent. Like everybody you know took an extra those, day. Yeah, 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 dude, dude. Like you know those videos where they put them in like uh, they put them in that that room that has like zero has sound. Zero sound. You know, yeah. it's got like those big triangles and shit, and it, yeah. like people can only stay in there for like thirty minutes. <laughs> you hear your own yeah, 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 yeah. That was yeah. literally Walnut Street. <laughs> yeah. Did you it go there for crazy? The, did you go there for the game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, we we went, went down there for the game. We had a perfect setup. Yeah. Everything was beautiful. And then uh, mayhem. This is why I want to get I, you into the Avengers. The Avengers never go through a regrowth period. They never lose. They eventually always come back. Your heart is never broken. Come on over. Damn. Dude. I mean, doesn't it bother you? Doesn't everyone in those movies bother you? Well, every single one in those I movies. I love them. <laughs> uh, if you didn't no. hear the first 10 seconds. <laughs> because I've dedicated my life uh, to them. I got to say, yeah. probably not. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't show you my back tattoo, Chris. <laughs> You're going to hate it. Dude, when I found out, when I found out Vin Diesel did Groot's voice. Yeah. I, I just about hit the ceiling. Thank you, man, I this was is just like, like, what the fuck? Why not just give that to some nobody and dude, give him a giant paycheck? Vin sure. Diesel is a mailbox with a heart in it somehow. <laughs> <laughs> that dude is fucking useless. Dude, it's, I don't even mind Vin Diesel. Nah, I'm just I like, like Vin Diesel. Well, you know why, though, right? <laughs> you know why he got it, yeah, I believe. A, well, am I oh, supposed I'm to sorry, have, I'm sorry. No. I thought you had the area. You might have the right answer. Uh, no, I, just, I only know the, the, the hack story of how he started because he was like a bouncer at some fucking club. Oh, no, he was the voice of Iron Giant. So I think they saw Iron Giant. Someone probably loved Iron Giant and went, oh, give it to this fucking guy because that was a great, it was like a great movie. It's a cartoon. I'm sure you've never fucking seen it. I haven't seen it. I, I, it's written by Roald Dahl, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. No way to know. No, I'm thinking of the BFG. <laughs> I'm thinking of the big friend of the magic, <laughs> <a> magic boxes <laughs> in our pockets. I'm all looking. I don't care. Possibly. Look. We'll never find out. <laughs> yeah, but the role of Groot requires nothing. You try it. I am Groot. Yeah, man. give us your Groot, dude. I, what is, how does he say it? <laughs> how does he say it? <laughs> yeah. He's just uh, Groot, right? Isn't he just say, I am Groot? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I didn't feel like you were saying something. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, I, every, I am Groot every, every time he says that he's saying something. You know, there's a real sentence there. Inflection. Like, yeah, inflection. I it am, is very I talented. I am Groot. <laughs> well, you want to say dick? Go. I said, like, I, I want to say a dick. I am Groot. He's, ang <laughs> he's angry. Yeah. I'm going to be honest with you, man. Yeah, I want to shut him down, but he's really killing it. <laughs> I really want to be like, he's like, I can do it right. But every one of those, I think, was. Uh, I'm dying. I'm Groot. <laughs> <laughs> You're wearing the rose tea, and I keep, I keep thinking it's your belly hanging out, and I love it. No, it was fucking. It was it was a great time. We 
<laughs> yeah, you got in a little bit Dude, of trouble. Of course. <laughs> I felt that whose house has a garbage can in it now that was from outside. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't fight anybody. I fell down the steps. <laughs> die, die. Yeah, there's security footage. And I texted the manager, Ian, who is the man. He hooked us up with this VIP table. So you're not a, like getting off the train and then walking to, it was me, him, and Kevin Ryan, getting to Barstool. Every bar you pass, there's a line. Right. Because it's either reservations or you wait. Right. And every single bar had a line around the block, like a wow. sold out show. Yeah, yeah. Dude, it was, it's hard. If we didn't have that hookup. We'd be fucked. Fucked. Yeah, yeah. And even at the hookup, now you got personal attention. Right. It's yeah. VIP attention where like, you don't have to move. Wow. It was beautiful. Yeah. Right. And you still spit in their face. <laughs> 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 One no, the <laughs> like she didn't fucking ask for it. <laughs> Tommy no, was slamming. He drank enough whiskeys to kill a horse. Dude, dude was... I got the second half and just my adrenaline was running. And it's like, you know, it's like throwing a bump. Yeah. You don't know. Your body's not telling you yet. Like it's not. <laughs> Yeah. Like, wait, hang in there, dude. It's like taking six gummies. Going, you gotta wait for the first one to hit. Dude, yeah. he spilled two full beers on it. <laughs> two full. Dude, full yeah, beers. Like, so I just kept on pouring. My lap. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just completely. <laughs> Hold on. We poured him a full pint, a fresh <clears throat> pint, landed on the table, and he was like, what? <laughs> so, dude, all over me. Wow. Yeah, it was Twice, dude. crazy. The first time I was like, oh, I'm sorry. The second time I was like, this is nuts. <laughs> you're wet, dude. You're wet. Dog. Dude, fully soaked. Wow. At the end of the game, he leaves early because uh, his girl was falling asleep in the booth. <laughs> you didn't finish the game? No, 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 no. no, I, no, no. I meant, oh. When I say early, I mean I, like, it was like 4 a.m. We didn't hit four. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. An appropriate time. Yeah. <laughs> it's when I should have left. And fucking uh, Kevin left a little earlier and you guys. And I was like, I'm going to stick around until everybody gets done doing their work and then we can hang out downstairs. Yeah. I stood up and I was like, whoa. <laughs> I had a lean on me like you wouldn't fucking believe. Wow. Dude, it was. I couldn't. <laughs> and I fell down. They have like 10 steps. As soon as you enter the bar, there's like a elevated step to get up. Yeah. <laughs> I, fucking no, fell. Dude. I have bruises on my hips head. Like <laughs> I have a rough time getting dude. on and off the toilet. <laughs> dude. Yeah. It's so Got sad. Me. There's security footage. I'm not kidding you. We I'm gonna get that I, I've been asking. Yeah. Dude. For they, the Patreon. They got a, for, <laughs> for the Patreon. I got please. a phone call. I got a phone call from the staff. Like I was, I was in bed. I couldn't I tell phone, my hotel room. I got a phone call from the staff and they were like, yo, Tommy's pretty banged up. Like, <laughs> do you, can you like come get him?" And I was like, I can't. I, can't. I, was, I was fucked up too. I'm I was crying. I've been drinking since one o'clock. Wow. So I was like, no, nah, he'll be all right. Like I literally, I was like, you can get home. Fine. Then, <laughs> then give the keys back. 10 minutes later, they call Tommy's gone. <laughs> Tom is gone. I was like, he's probably going back to his hotel. He's fine. Then they're like, I don't think so. Like, there's no way he could make it to a hotel. I was sleeping at a, a building. Yeah. So they. <laughs> I was sleeping on the street. They yeah. sent out like a, a group of them spread out <laughs> around the city to like find Just rangers Tommy. clicking on their yeah, fucking yeah, lights. Yeah, dude, they find him a block away just sleeping on a building, on a bar. And they wake him up. And they're like, uh, what's your hotel? And he doesn't know. <laughs> so then they just start calling hotels. Come on. To be like, do you, is I there, didn't know this. Yeah, yeah. They just start calling hotels. Jesus to be like, Christ. Is there, is there a Tom Papa staying there? A Tommy Pope? <laughs> Tom like, is he, yeah, is there, is, like, do you have a name? And everyone's like, no, no. They eventually found the hotel. I don't remember which one it was. It was the Alof. And I, yeah. I woke up like such a scumbag and I went, they gave me a hard time checking in and I said I'd check in later. Maybe if I call in, I get my refund. Dude, <laughs> people, I'm just on the street like. <laughs> I'm like she told oh, me you couldn't get in. Dude, the fact they found the hotel and they were like, they were like, yeah, we have him, but like he didn't check in. And they're like, he's pretty banged up. Can we like, he needs a place to stay. Can we like get him over there and check him in? And they go, no, don't bring him here. See? What? Yeah, I told yeah, you. Yeah. They were like, I knew I wasn't going to get that room. That's yeah, why I yeah. blocked What do you mean? Why? <laughs> they, they don't want. They That's were what just like, we don't want whatever that is. We don't want it. <laughs> That's not yeah. true. I bet you, dude, when I first. They sold the room? A hundred percent. I first, I get in there. He got in a little earlier than me. He got in like one. I got in like three. I go to check in. The hotel lobby is a tailgate. Well, dude, yeah. I'm like, there's, yeah. there's fucking tins of wings and shit. Wow. People are just sitting and tailgating, drinking out of 30 packs. And the line to check in is like to the window 
to the stars. To the stars. I said stars. We know the stars. <laughs> and then I, she, the one lady finally goes, look, there's no double beds. If you're in line for double beds, we have none. And half the line shifted. And I was like, good. I, I, get, to, I can get here before the game. I, I get to the, the lady and she's like uh, checking in. I'd say, yeah, yeah, yeah. She goes, well, all right, your room's not ready. I'm like, it's like four o'clock. Yeah. What, what do you mean? She goes, well, you just gonna have to wait a while. I'm like, I don't have a while. Right. I yeah. got like an hour and a half to kick off. Yeah. Right. I got to get juice in. <laughs> also like, just, just fucking check me Give in. Give me a fuck. Right. Exactly. Check me in. So then I start the getting nuts. Cause I'm like, there's a chance here. If I leave and I asked her three times, I was like, so I definitely have a room. If I come later, right. I have a room. You can guarantee that. She goes, up. yeah, it's just, we have to clean a, a queen and we can't upgrade you right now to the king. And I was like, okay, I'll come back. Right. And as yeah. soon as I left, I was like, there's no way all these people funneling out of these bars aren't going to walk into every hotel. And if I hadn't checked in yet, they're just going to assume he's not here. Right. So when they called, they were probably like, yeah, he was fucking, he's not, he's not showing up. Right. There's no way. That room was sold. But you had a reservation. This is what's I, fucking that's infuriating. That's the whole point. Do they do this? this, they like, do I'm, this. Like, I'm so angry. I don't know what to do. I yeah, power. and I wasn't even there, and it's three days ago, <laughs> and I'm like furious, dude. They, they do that, like that happened to me once, where like I like landed late, had to go right to a show, and then you know I'm like drinking after the show, right? And I get I get to the hotel at two in the morning, yeah, and they're like, oh, we had you as a no show. It's like no, 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 no. like yeah, it's for that's for the next day, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. I have that till yeah. two p.m. Yes, not two yes. a.m. Yes, yes, and honestly, yeah, it's like you should get a refund. Yeah, wait, I'll call there, tomorrow. wait a minute. You they gave you gave them money. Yes. Oh yeah, I paid. And you did not get your I money. I had a back. reservation. This I was is, just checking uh, in to get my room this? number and my card. Drop off keys. my little bag. You guys have a car? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We, 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 go down right we go right now. We'll go right now. We will go to Philadelphia. Yeah, yeah, I'm not at that level yet where like I could just throw out a tweet and be like, "Hey, fucking a loft, you really right. fucked over my Super Bowl." <laughs> and they're like, "DM me," and I get fresh cookies and six rooms. You know what I mean? They can't Dude. just keep your money if they didn't give you a thing and told you you couldn't come. Hundred percent. I agree. hundred percent. I agree 100%. He also agrees 100%. Yeah. That's 200%. It's, cr it's criminal. That's it's criminal. Yeah, right I have the room until, like, I can, if I check in at, a, like, 10 a.m. and I have to be out by 11 a.m., give me the hour. If you paid for it? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. No one else yeah. can be in it. Yeah. They just Dude. can't take your money? Dude, yeah. Hotels, hotels. Someone else ain't your hamburger. That's my fucking hamburger. Yes. <laughs> We well, didn't give you a hamburger. I ordered a fucking hamburger. Yeah. Throw my hamburger out. You can't Dude. eat my fucking hamburger. Yeah, he can't have two hamburgers. What are you out of your fucking mind? <laughs> yeah. He put it all right away. Dude, hotels exist in like the 1920s. The, like the, the whole check in process is this insane. gets him fucking wired. Up, dude. The fact that I need to talk to anyone. Demolo, Demolo, what do you mean? Tell me. Look, what, uh, 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 just. It's, it's like, like a like restaurant Uber. going, have you ever eaten here before? Yeah. And it's like. <laughs> No, it doesn't fucking matter. Give me right. a, a menu. Right. Yeah. It's like all the questions they give you at the front desk. And it's also like, this is modern technology. Right. Like just uh, when I book hotels on the internet, I should be able to look at the whole hotel and choose a room. Right. And then get why is there a front room. desk person? Right. There's no need for no. that. Yes. Why do I got to go to online? The key just should open, be put the key in the fucking room. There's mobile yes. keys on some. Yeah. Which sometimes. is sick. But 99% of, of the time. Some of mobile keys now where you could just, you download the app yeah. or whatever. Yeah. But you, yeah, just. Yeah. Beep. But I feel like that's, that's <laughs> like 40 to 50% of the time you get the mobile key. And Doesn't the work. other 50%, they go, hey, you got to check in. You got to check like, in. Well, no, 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 I don't. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You, you can send me like, you can send me the key. I know that you, you can, can. Absolutely. Yes. The same reason I don't have to check in or check out rather. I can just leave the keys in the room. Should be just as easy as checking in. I've never checked never out. Checked I've, out right? Ever. I've never yeah. checked out. Ever. I didn't know everyone knew this. This is my, I never check out. Oh my yeah, God. Dude. What's what, checking out? I don't know. I, when people check out, it, it bothers me. <laughs> yeah. You like, say goodbye? This yeah, is your yeah, grandmother? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just trying to get another fresh yeah. cookie yeah. on the way out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, what's next? You're going to start getting protection on your flight? It's just like, <laughs> you out of your Amtrak. fucking mind. Dude, the Amtrak dude, protection dude. is like another hundred dollars. <laughs> I paid 60. Yeah. Who the fuck is saying yes to this? Wait, yeah. wait, wait, you never get protection on your flights? I always <laughs> get it on my flights. I live a life. What are you kidding? I hate flying. So I'm afraid of everything. So I just click all the boxes. Oh my God. I click every box. You're paying $30 like to protect your flight? What? How much? No, it's more bucks. than that. It's, it's like, like 90 bucks. Sounds like 30 bucks. bucks. No, it's 30, like 30 bucks. bucks. On a flight? Yeah. It's not a lot. 
It's a peace of it's mind. Like, why don't you, it's like, you protect my flight. <laughs> yeah, right. They also, be, what would have to happen if the flight, for you to not get your flight? Uh, I, this is, this, I'll tell you exactly what. Uh, three or four times. <laughs> you read I, the fine print. I looked you're at the flight. Hard up right and now. I was like, all right, here we go. St. Louis. I looked at the flight. You're going to Alabama. And I'm like, I just bought a flight to fucking Alabama. <laughs> oh so I had to call them and they got to change it. I make all of the mistakes because I do everything high. So everything needs to have this level of protection for me, you know, where I can go. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was Lewis, too stoned. Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Yeah. Well, you were saying you stopped smoking a little bit. I stopped smoking for no reason. I just was like, oh, I'm smoking every day. And then I was like, I'm going to take a month off and I'm going to go to the, I'm going to take weed out and I'm going to put the gym in. Whoa. And I'm going to go to the gym every Let's day. Let's go. Yeah. I've been going to the gym every day. Where? Uh, Matrix. Ah. I know. You go to LA Fitness. Like New York Sports Club. New York Sports Club. Oh, you're right Club. around the corner. We could go together. I can help you out. Yeah, I'll definitely go because um, I'm going every day. Did you sign a contract? I did, but I'll just pay the. Did you get the protection? I got the protection. <laughs> they gave me two condoms. I wear them when I run. Uh, it's fun. <laughs> one of them knows one of the birds. <laughs> yeah. Dude, the Matrix though, and this is gonna this is gonna sound horrible. They got some uh, uh, some great butts in there. Yeah, and a great butt keeps me in the gym. Yeah. an hour longer. Yeah, I don't know if that makes me a dirty dog, but I'm are they real dog. butts or fake butts? Who cares? I care. You care? Oh, 100% what? I care. Yeah, dude. I can't takes, even tell the difference. It's a, you, you, yeah, you, you should be able to. What Why? are you talking about? You don't need a fake fucking butt, eagle eye. Yeah, dude, fake butts look insane. Let me Google butts and see if we can tell. Does fake butts, like, really? it's like looking at Madonna's face now and being like, does she get any work done? Yeah, like look, up, look up a BBL. <laughs> it looks like a butt. Yeah. A BBL B as opposed to. BBL. That's a Brazilian yeah. butt lift. Oh, there's a comedian who's been talking about that. Yeah, I didn't understand the joke These at girls all. put water bottles on the tops of their ass and the sides, you know, they just tuck it in with this plastic. It's BBL. Yeah. If, uh, let's see. 90% of the time, they're, they're not, they don't look natural at all. There's no, there's no natural curves. It's just a. Oh, I hate that. Just, ah, okay, I know those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I feel like women's asses have just gotten yes. so much better lately. Dude, we talked about yeah, that. Yeah, they're all before. work. They're all working on them. They're yeah. all working on them. They're all just, they go in there and they just do squats and those like hips thruster things. I don't like seeing hot people in the gym, to be honest. Really? Yeah, it bothers me. Why? I just, I don't know. I don't, it's just. Uh, I think it's because you're good it, looking. No, it's, it's just put it away, you know? Put it away? That's yeah. where they fix it. I know. But <laughs> it's, it's like, I don't like seeing cars. That's how it works. It's exactly how it works. Yeah, that's where they are. I don't know. <laughs> it always drives me nuts. I don't like it with my daycare. That's what I don't uh, like. Yeah. Them. Yeah. Or a dentist. Or a dentist. Yeah. Dentist. Do I said this last week? Huh? I don't want a hot dentist. I don't want a hot doctor. I don't want a good looking person working on my body. I don't want any of it. I want, give me the fucking ugly curmudgeon auto mechanic looking motherfucker. Dude. Fix my face. True. True. I had a dentist when we used to work at the Apple store that she just got all the Apple employees smoke show yeah and she would just put her boobs in your face Ugh. and every guy was like we're all going to say fucking dentist, <laughs> dentist. and our teeth were falling yeah, out she was horrible her job. Yeah. With yeah. A fucking hammer. <laughs> yeah she was like eat more candy we were like yeah man whatever just put your fucking hands she would just like caress you it was we were all being molested and it was fucking great yeah <laughs> dude sitting on that shady plastic shit that you know that, that paper yeah i hate paper, the paper. mache i hate that the makes the you paper. nervous you yeah. the paper I yeah, the, the, the they fucking, roll out the paper for the thing that you sit you have on. To sit that's on like a the doctor's doctor. office. That's yeah, not yeah. a dentist. I don't no. know what I'm saying. Yeah, the deli paper. sit on that shit. Yeah, the yeah. deli paper. Yeah, the deli yeah, paper. There you go. I'm waiting for the door to crack, and then I'm like, this better be <laughs> You're sitting this on better. The this better look like a fucking. <laughs> this better look like a, like a, a fucking Gary. Yeah, Steve as Buscemi. Buscemi. Yeah, 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 I want to. Yeah, yeah. I want to oh. do with grease on the side yes, of his elbow. Yes, because he cares about fixing bodies. You got to see my guy. We got. I got a doctor. He's like around the block from here. He is like, dude, wild man. He just comes in. He's always like, hey, you know, how you doing? We're like, we're all right. And he was like, you, uh, you fucking hookers? And we're like, he just, those are the things he asks. He goes, because you could, you know, just wear the barrier method. Like he says. Barrier method? Is, yeah. Condom. That's what he calls condom. condom? Yeah, yeah, the barrier method. <laughs> <laughs> he's just, hey, say, barrier method what you could do. And I'm like, no, nah, man, I got married. And he's like, hey, man, we're all married. But the, mar the barrier method, still you want to use the barrier method. He's very into the barrier method. Yeah. yeah. But he like, he says shit all the time. <laughs> yeah, like, take the air assault. You mean a missile? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? Yeah. Dude, he's like crazy. That's he's great. You nuts. still go to him? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's like, he's always like, you know, maybe we go out, maybe we go to a strip club. And I'm like, yeah, man, I'll go to a strip club with you. Yeah. We haven't yet, but I will. But see, again, I like this because it's a guy who knows his medicine. 
right? <laughs> if, he's, if he's fucking hookers on the regular, yeah. you know, he's, he's taking care of himself. Doing research. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Dude, yes. No he's investigating. Yeah. I kid you not, lady, if one of his patients walks past us, like I'm in the office, and he goes, he grabs my arm and he goes, Am I right? Like, <laughs> yeah, that's <it's> like, <laughs> What? Whoa, he goes like, yeah, like yeah. he yeah. points to these women that he's also <laughs> seeing. I'm like, there are lines here, but I love that you're crossing. Yeah, them. yeah, you know, yeah. That's special. A, that's a hip violation yeah. of some kind. I yeah. like to think you get in an elevator and just hit 1970 and you go back, <laughs> you go back in time this big, <laughs> just assaulting women with a it's, lit yeah. cigarette. There's nothing but like popular mechanics <laughs> yeah. magazines on there. Yeah. Dude, I always want to. I like it. Always bothers me that the dentist doesn't have a mirror above. Oh, like a... So like I can a, see what they're doing. Like a massage parlor. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I want a mirror up there because yeah. ju- you just sit there and they're right. doing all kinds of stuff. Oh, you there. count the dots and the and fucking you, drops. You got, that's what you do. No, let me get... I want to watch something. Put a TV up there. Uh, most of just have TV now there. Like that. Yeah, They try top. to do them. Yeah. They'll usually put one up with like an angle so you can see it. Like a good dentist will oh, do yeah. that. That'd be nice. Yeah. But I, I really want the mirror. I want to see slide. what they're doing because I sometimes I like... You don't trust them? You want to get in there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I want to see how it's done. Yes. Yeah, what, what, yeah. How much tooth are you getting rid of? Yeah, yeah. That's like, <laughs> that's like me when I get on a plane. I always look. I always look into the pilot's thing to be like, who are these guys? Yeah. What's this guy look like? Yeah. Who's, who's flying this thing? I just want to check them out a little yeah. bit. Right. Yeah, yeah. I feel good now. But these cocksuckers are always standing by the the door on the way out. You don't see right. them on the way in. You see them on the way out, and they're like. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Charmy fucking wink and like, have a good day. So, right. a comedian after a good set. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just trying to get yeah. pussy on the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little too much turbulence. He's in the fucking green room. Yeah. Hey, Jesus, dude, come out of here. Yeah, this- <laughs> yeah, pal. We speak to you. <laughs> It's so true, dude. It's I like always a, give him a comic. Like a comic yeah. sitting by like the first exit. It's not even yeah. the last exit. Yeah. Just yeah. like, oh, thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, thanks. Yeah. yeah. He's signing posters. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think you were going to be here. Pretending to look for somebody. <laughs> if they always look a little, if they look a little cock, like I always comment. I always go, great landing, great landing. If they don't, I just go, give me a little hard, huh? Yeah. A little hard? Give yeah. me a little hard? Just, a little, yeah, yeah. just pick them down a peg because these guys are fucking arrogant. Yeah. Well, they're nuts. Yeah. They're fucking like true, like jet fighters, right? No. For the most part? I don't think so. Maybe. A maybe. lot of them times you get these guys who like, flew in Vietnam and now their next job was this Boeing 747. Yeah. Aren't there like Navy happen. pilots that are like, they're wired differently and they're very bright and they're very kind of autistic. Yeah, they're weird. And yeah. they're handsome in a way of like pilot handsome. Right. Where it's like, it's too sharp. It's like 1990s sitcom sharp. Right. Where like all their features are oddly cut. But they have nothing to them. There's no personality. Right. Yeah, yeah. They're, well, they're that's why that they don't way. even know how to say hi. Yeah, that they're built that way. That's what the military does. It fucking yes. It just makes you into a, just a weapon of warfare. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But they, 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 but they, are not, they annihilate your individuality. That's the the point the of the objective, military. Yeah. yeah. That's why they shave your head and shit. And yeah. Fucking take your toys away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not in this house, baby. We got toys and we got hair. Who's are those? Yeah. Matt and Shane's. Hmm. They used to Good do figs. a podcast down here, and then they would put them on the table. And someone sent them, I think those those action figures. Can you throw one of those to me, actually? Because it's fun about them is that they're not placed in a way that looks like it looks like they were just put there after a nice it's play with. Yeah. Oh, these aren't even <laughs> these aren't even high end figs. They're what not. These are upsetting. These to me. look good. They look pretty no, good. No, no, the articulation they, is horrible. These look at 90s? This. The elbows don't move. The no oh, knee joints. Yeah. What are we doing here? Cactus Jack. Cactus Jack. That's nineties, right? Yeah, yeah. No, this is a this ain't a good fig, bro. I mean, good for him, but dude, you know what are we doing here? Yeah, what is that? <laughs> well, you're up, is you're dude, you're upgraded. Look at these rubber legs. He can't even you move know, his check hands this around, out, dude. What are you talking yeah. about? This rule, <laughs> <laughs> dude. How tight are these hamstrings, dude? Him. I'll get you. I mean, one if if uh, we'll find out whose figure these are, I'll get him a real deal cactus jack with at least sixty seven points of articulation. And uh, many different uh, variable heads. 67 points? Yeah, what probably. Is, probably why four, anywhere two, 40 to 60. Three, four. Because you can move like the individual hey, fingers. Do head, neck. No, not fingers. Head, neck, chest, elbow, double joint elbow. Got to get double joint That's elbow. That's crazy. Ankle. How big are we talking? The same size as Six inches. So everybody about like that big. Damn. And you're married. Yeah, man. To a wonderful woman. That's crazy. That's I'm awesome. I'm sorry that your child died. <laughs> Inside, <Yeah. laughs> my internal dude. Chat. It's like a great dopamine drip, dude. You know, you get you go to a fucking store, you buy a fig, you don't have to, you don't have to punch a hooker. Do you have <laughs> you to know? like? Do you put it together and all that shit? Because I've seen you like paint shit. Is yeah, it, I used to. Yeah, paint that's them. cool. Not anymore. No, oh, nah, you, you got, got the, the paint kid. face. I got the kid. I want to meet in the paint. Yeah, I don't have the time for it. 
He's great. I got another one coming in June. Yay! Whoa. Yeah, another boy. Mama. Congrats. I need a name. What, I need names. I need boys' names. Stone Cold off the top Stone of my Stone Cold head. Stone. Yeah, Stone Cold Stone. <laughs> that was <laughs> pretty sick, dude. <laughs> That's pretty fucking sick. Stone Cold Stone. Stone Cold Stone. Dude, my yeah. brother's best friend's uh, phone number was a power drone. Really? It was... Uh, <laughs> Damn. Yeah, just say the number yeah. on the podcast. <laughs> you really paint yourself into a corner there. I know, I know. Whatever. Yeah. But it was. Sure. Frontwards, backwards. That's fun. Pretty really? neat. Yeah. Yeah. That's as far as that joke goes. So no. Just, that was it, man. No. 215333. No, it wasn't 205. It was 610, three, I believe. Oh. Four, two, one. Wait. Can't be 421. No. Maybe it was 215. 215? I got a story when you're done. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, when you're done, whatever. I'm done. We'll so, cut that. We'll put an ad in there. Why? That was great. I'm kidding. Let them ride. Oh, I don't care. You know, no, no, no. I'm just saying, like, I think sometimes a podcast is like, let the listener ride. You know? Just let like, them, yeah. I mean, enjoy it. You know, they'll pause. They're here with us. Look, we're fucking still hung over from getting absolutely blacked out two nights ago. We're fighting our way through it. You know Are what you I mean? having a great time. No, I'm having a great time. I'm just, I don't have any stories besides guess, Tommy getting fucked up. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, we got back to the hotel was great. <laughs> oh, yeah. So they, Tommy, I got hand dude, delivered to the hotel. Tommy, I had to deliver. Dude, Tommy, I was where did fucking, you sleep? Right. I was weekend sleep? at Bernie's, dude. They had really? two guys. Yeah. Puppeteering me, but I was visually alert. But my, it was like, it was like pulling the spine out of me. Like a giant pulling a spine out of a human being. I'm like, now you try and figure out how to where, walk. Dude, where did you I sleep? Because you didn't have a hotel. On his couch. Yeah, I had yeah. a hotel. Oh, you did. They yeah, took yeah, the yeah, yeah. him. Through. Nice. Dude, the, the, Ian said he was, because Ian's got one arm that's fucked up. So his, his he was just trying to hold Tommy with his right arm. He had to walk him three blocks to his oh car. And Tommy kept going like, get the fuck off. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I can walk. And then he'd take two steps. <laughs> then, that's then, old man then pride then right there, baby. Him, then he'd have to hook him back up. <laughs> I'd be pissed and, if I didn't yeah, say yeah, shit like yeah. that. And, he'd be, and he said, Tommy kept going, the disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> fucking disrespect. Dude, meanwhile, dude. this guy's carrying me home. Dude, <laughs> Tommy had so many plans. The elevator doors open up and Tommy's standing in the in like like in between the two <laughs> glass doors, you know, they can't get through the second one. And uh they're just holding him and he's he's leaning. And I I get him and I I wanted to get some snacks. Yeah, yeah. And I went down there and I'm like walking Tommy, and Tommy's leaning so hard. And I was like, he's like, he gets in there and he goes, this isn't my fucking hotel. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, I know, man. I know. But hold on. Let's get some snacks. And he's like, dude, I can't do snacks. <laughs> he's like, I need to lay down now. I can't do snacks. I was like, all right, no snacks. No snacks. <laughs> dude, went up and just laid him down. Man. I, I wanted, dude, moved. I wanted snacks. My, as soon as I got up, I was like, I wish we had snacks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the snacks, the I snacks know. exit was a mistake, dude. dude. Oh, Man. this isn't my fucking hotel. That's so funny. <laughs> dude, this is after people had worked so hard. <laughs> to get me here. <laughs> to get it's so disrespectful. This isn't my Amigo fucking the hotel. Disrespect. You gotta fight that. Card. You gotta call your credit oh, card company and fight the bill. Yeah, I'll call, yeah, I'll call the crazy. hotel saying they never gave me my room. Yeah, and, and if they don't, you call your credit card company. Yeah, That's another thing that annoys me about credit card companies is when you call them and you go, like, don't pay that. Mm -hmm. And they're like, do you want us to cancel your card? And it's like, no, I just want you to yeah. not pay that person. They yeah. charge you to put a hold yeah, on it. Yeah, and like, yeah. then your bank says, well, we have to give you a you know, $35 charge to reverse the check or whatever. And they're the like, fuck we can't not pay. It's like, how about this? I, should have, I have as much power as Aloft does, okay? They need my money. Right. You don't send it to them. Yeah. That's it. Right. All right. Didn't they already they want to pick a fight. They can pick a fight. <laughs> you don't send them that money. You tell them to call me. Also, it's like, <laughs> there's one of them, and now there's two Chris of us. Been, Chris has been watching Yellowstone for the last 24 hours. No, too. and they're an intermediary. Right. It's like, they're asking for it. I'm saying don't send it. Right. Don't send it. Don't send it to them. I hear you. Plus, there's two of us. There's one of them. Yeah. <laughs> we'll team up on them. Me and the credit card company and the fucking versus Aloft. Yeah, yeah. Fucking just... Look, if they want to lodge a formal complaint, they can do it. I'll give them a PO box. I think we should start picking up debts. We should get a. We should build a company, a uh, separate LLC, where you pick up debts. Right, uh, dude. Then you show up in people's houses, or will you just get no. You call, there's like this whole. I watched it on like 60 Minutes years ago, where they buy people's debts, pennies. Oh yeah, yeah. pennies on the dollar from a major company. 
Yeah. Creditor. Yeah. And they'll go fucking Greg Stone owes thirty five hundred dollars. Yeah, six grand. That's what I <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's how it's when they start calling. It's yeah, okay. Let's grand. say it's six six grand the fucking AT and T or whatever because yeah. you got Direct TV. Yeah, it's Berkeley Community College, but that's fine. Yeah. Do those people have any power? Who? <laughs> when they buy up your debt? No, that's the point of this. So the what they do is in this documentary they tell you like no holds barred threats, and people typically in the situation where they owe money. I mean, I'm not going to be so stereotypical, but like they don't know how the system works as much. Right? Yeah, you're so scared. they think. These people can just lie and say, right. like, we'll take your car. We know where you live because mm -hmm. they have the personal information. And they start rattling off the stuff to scare someone that's weak minded or, or just maybe elderly. less of yeah. knowledgeable. Yeah. And they'll just be like, if you don't give us this money, and they'll say, like, where your wife works, and they start just bullying the fuck out of What? Them. Yeah. Because I've gotten a call from people before. They're like, yeah, this is Jeff. You owe me now. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, I've never, I've never given any yeah. money to Jeff. That was just your brother on another yeah. couch. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, look to your right. I've never given a Jeff money in my life, so I don't know what you're talking about. Dude, 2001, I didn't pay my, I put my semester of college on my credit card. First of all, this whole thing was one of the Whoa, fucking nightmares. Wait, can you do that? <sighs> I did. You uh, can put a whole semester of college on a credit card? So I went, I was at Burn Community College. I walk in at lunch. They go, hey, you want a basketball rim? And I would oh, I love a basketball rim. You know, $14 basketball rims? They go, sign up for this credit card. 35% interest. Wait, what? What? $14 basketball rim? You know those little, fat, little basketball rims you put in your room? Yeah. Little sock? Oh, oh. They was like, yeah. you sign up for this credit card, we'll give you this basketball rim. I said, I love a basketball rim. Got the basketball rim. You could have got that for five bucks. Could have got it for five bucks. It eventually cost the me. The one you clip on the door? Yep. <laughs> yep. I said, I'll sign up for a credit card for a free basketball rim because I'll never use it. 35% interest. Predatory. Dude, the guy had a fucking mask and a laser. That's how fucking predatory this guy was. I walk in, they sign up for the fucking credit card. Next day, I had to, so I had an accident. I had to, had to have, I put my semester of college on the credit card, hoping that my student loan would come and I'll just take the student loan and I'll pay that. But I had to have surgery. <coughs> student loan doesn't go through because I couldn't. Because of the surgery thing, the whole I had to like drop out of school. The credit card bill goes from fifteen hundred dollars to about nine thousand dollars because I just over the course of like three or four would didn't pay a single dollar to any of this. Let me tell you this: I never paid a dollar. People, Jeff's calling me, Rick's Still. calling me. <laughs> yeah. They're like, they're like, just give us fifty bucks, uh, yeah, and I'm anything. like, I'll see you in a year. Yeah, yeah. I mean, fifty. My credit score now. I looked at my, my wife. My, my wife's like, your credit score is actually getting really good. I go, what happened? Statue of limitations. She went, they gave up. Yeah. They gave up. So it went from $1,500 to $9,000 to $0. Yeah. So your boy won. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Dude. Yeah, man. Same. Fuck yep. Yeah. Yeah. I really? paid all $35,000 of debt uh -huh. in my twenties. And I wish I hadn't because I put like <laughs> down yeah. payments, to like office furniture and stuff like in this, this building we were trying to, this business thing we were tr trying to start. And I paid it all back. Every fucking, oh. every month I would go to fucking Walmart and with, for a money order oh and my wait God. in line. And it all, I found out it's like, unless you're paying stuff with like cash or not cash or like credit and stuff in the future, if you want a house, if you want all this stuff, yeah, they, they fucking, they, they press you and go and keep them your credit, yeah. you know, ideal, pay on time, pay everything back. It's like, dude, you could have just go bankrupt. Yes. Yeah. Wait seven years. I was 23 years old. I was 18. Yeah. I paid 35 dollars Just don't pay it. Wait seven years. Yeah. Start over. Right yeah. now I'm at like seven, I'm at like 750 credit score. And I used to have like low fives. I think I had, I had five. Yeah. I think my credit card score was five. Yeah. It was five. <laughs> zero, zero, five. <laughs> yeah. That was it. They were like, just the yeah. fact that I'm alive. They yeah, were like, that's what you get. Yeah. Dude, I'm not kidding, man. I, I, I did, I, I didn't pay. They were. They kept saying, "Like, well, you'll never be able to buy a house." I went, "Baby, <laughs> I was never gonna be able to buy yeah, a yeah, house." Yeah, yeah, dude, that was my attitude when they were when Jeff was calling me. I was like, "Dude, <laughs> I'm I'm ready to die. Yeah, I don't care about my life. Yeah. So if you want to make this your business, <laughs> yeah, you come after the money. There, there ain't none. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I'm, and there's never gonna be any. Never will be. I'm any. never gonna make enough money for you to be able to recoup <laughs> what I fucked up. Yeah, dude. Can I tell you what you just? I need to just quick aside. 
I was in Rio last week, the Rio, then I was in Vegas. I'm at Starbucks, Starbucks, 35 minute line, huge line. Only thing good in the fucking hotel. Hotel suck. Yeah. I waited. Some fucking 19 year old kid cuts the line and I went, I tapped him. I went, pal, what are you doing? You got to get back in the line. We're all waiting here. What are we fucking savages? His friend comes by. He's like, oh, going back and forth. And his friend looks at me and goes, what are you going to do about it? And I looked at him. I went, I'll die for this. Yeah, <laughs> I, those exact words you just yes, said. Yes. I went. I got a kid at home. He means nothing to me anymore. <laughs> I will die in this casino. Yes, fighting you because for you who the fuck you coffee. did for a Starbucks yes, coffee, dude. At eight a.m., I went. I will die for this. Yes, those, those words. Yes. Did he get in line? Huh? Did he get in line? He went to the back, yeah. and then his friend who actually got the line went, "Hey man, he's just starting to deescalate." And he goes, "Like, I mean, I'm just trying to deescalate. I'm really sorry." Blah 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 blah. His friend leaves and I go, hey, you know, pal, I like the way you handle that. You get in front. You get your coffee. I let his friend, the original cutter, I let cut because he handled he it with grace. He handled it with grace. Yes. And, but his other friend, I was like, your other friend is going to fucking die. See, yeah. that guy should have bought your coffee, though. A lot then, of things should have happened. A lot of things should have happened. Then we have a holiday picture. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're right. You should have bought Did my fucking coffee. Did you not buy your coffee? Now I'm angry. I didn't know I had to be angry. <laughs> now I'm angry. You should have cut I thought I was good. You I thought cut. I was good. Yeah, know, yeah, I'm angry again. You Fucking were too guy. busy basking yeah, sure in your uh, <laughs> magnanimity <laughs> to realize that he owed you a coffee. He did owe me. And I, I actually I looked back at everyone in the line and I was like, did this guy, you, you guys want blah, blah, blah. And then no one would say anything. And I was like, these fucking cowards. After the whole thing is said and done, this guy comes up to me and goes, yeah, I was going to say something. But then, and I went, don't do that. Don't do that. You were going to, but you didn't. Because yeah. you didn't. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. you yeah. didn't. And you left yeah. me out there yeah. to fight nine dudes by myself. And I yeah. was about Dude. to. Dude, I, I had a missed opportunity like that recently. I was so mad. Uh, I, was, I, went to, I went to my nephew's birthday party on Friday. And, uh, you could have fight your nephew. No, it was fun. It was fun. <laughs> well, that pussy kids, yeah. Kids, yeah. yeah. No, so we, we, it was at this like huge like sports plex thing. They yeah. had all kinds of different shit. They had like an like American- Trampolines and shit. Trampoline room. Oh, so fun. American Ninja Warrior course. Two hockey rinks. Basketball courts, two like swim pools. Like, Why like where is this? Awesome. What? It was, it was, it was, it's in Connecticut. It was amazing. Well, I'm leaving there, and uh, I we had like all you know, like balloons and cake and shit that we needed to take to the car. So I, I dropped that off. I take, I like drop this cart back off in front, and I'm walking back to my brother's car, and uh, this mom is getting in this girl's ass. Whoa, about soccer. Whoa. And so she starts off and she was like, she was like, like, we talked about this. Like, why would you move the ball there? And I was kind of like, this oh. is pretty aggressive. This girl was like nine. Right. You know what I mean? I was like, this is pretty aggressive, but maybe they're really committed to soccer. Right. You know what I mean? Maybe this is an intense sports moment. Right. And then she goes, then she starts going, look at how you're fucking walking. Oh my God. Jeez. You walk like a fucking duck. Oh you're nine. God. When is this going to stop? And I was so like, I couldn't believe what I was hearing. And they were kind of like walking away from me. And I like, man, it like the moment escaped me. And I was like, I should have fucking said what something. What could you I have should, done? I should have told her to, sh uh, I would have just said, I would have, I was thinking about multiple things. I was saying, should I start of m making fun of the mom's appearance? Yeah. Like you're a fat piece of fucking ugly shit. You yeah. walk like a fucking There's idiot. one move here. I like you're, that. You're, you're fucking 40 years old and still walking like a dumbass. Shut the fuck up. You and I was thinking it. about yelling about just keeping about soccer. <laughs> <laughs> just keep it about soccer. <laughs> Leave That's that kid funny. alone. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And I was, I was having one of those moments where it's like, you start thinking like, you start thinking down the line, what you're going to need to say, where it's just like, uh, she's like, if she was like, I'll call my husband, he'll kick you. Get him. Right. Yeah. Get him. Oh, Get him. Dude, I'll fucking die. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 Just so yeah. you know, like, I know we're not that close. Yeah. Yeah. You are in a situation that you call me. Yeah. I'll yeah. be there. You dude, know? This is why I, I feel like, like women should be tested before they're able to have children. Right. Their eggs should be on layaway. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you shouldn't, everybody shouldn't be able to have kids. Yeah. 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 Like this woman is a fucking detriment to society. Yeah. She's going to build this woman, this girl into a savage. Yeah. That girl's going to be so fucking demented. You have one option in this scenario. And she didn't have, what? Well, yeah. Sorry. Is what we call the fight club scenario. The only, the only, because if you, if you get in her face, it doesn't matter. It continues. If you do something, it's a fight, blah, 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 blah. You have one option, which is you grab her, you grab her into a closet, choke her, grab her <laughs> license. And you say, every year I'm going to call your daughter. 
if I hear that you ever said anything like this to her again, <laughs> I have your license. I have where you live. Uh, yeah. I'm going to cut your fucking throat. <laughs> <laughs> so you are dead unless you change. That's it. You do the, it's a fight club yeah. scenario. That's it. Yeah. And then you get it a call true. and it's like, yes. hey, uh, my name is Jeff. <laughs> 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 Turn out to be your husband. <laughs> Man, we need a lot more punishers. What's that guy's name? He still yeah. owes me. Fuck it. Yeah. There is so much to lose, but there's so much to gain when it really works out. Right. When you, the punisher scenario, we're like right. the fucking, the guy that steps in. Yeah. And actually makes a change in that person's life. Because the, yeah. the, what's there to, to gain in that scenario is maybe the way my dad would, if, if he felt disrespected in a car going 70 miles an hour right, and he gets cut off, he's going to risk his entire family <laughs> yes. that isn't in a fucking seatbelt behind yeah. him. Yeah. yeah, He thinks, while my mother's scream crying in the front seat, if I show him how close he was to death, he won't do this to anybody else going forward. Yeah. yeah. So your mentality here is, and it's probably what's weighing on, he's going, I should have just told this fat fucking bitch she's yeah. worthless. And this kid has so much to gain. Yes. And you're ruining her future with right. your dumb fucking words and your mentality towards her progression in yeah. life and her fucking adolescence. Right. You're a pig. Dude, this girl was- You're a fat pig. Yes. <laughs> and then you just yes. really lean into the way. Yeah, right. yes. yeah, yeah. And you keep saying fat for a you while. Yeah, yeah. And you take a cupcake and you want this or do you want me? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, yeah. you want me to stop yeah. or you want yeah. this? Yeah, yeah, yeah true, yeah. <laughs> Just had a birthday party, yeah. got a car yeah. full of cupcakes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can get you some free pizza yeah. if you stop picking on your dog, you fat fucking pig. Yeah. Dude, yeah. But it just, it was, well, the, the beginning chunk uh, of it was something that like, my dad said that shit to me. Right. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, but that was 30 years ago. Yeah, it was We've 30 years ago. But it was also one of those things where it's like, I, I mean, dude, it was, it was hockey. Yeah, but also he you're drove, fucked up. Like it was yeah. like a Saturday. <laughs> right, right. Right. You're yeah. also fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like 100. You know what I mean? We're trying like, to get yeah. her to not be like Chris. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, we need we more of stop. these. We yeah. Stop it. <laughs> yeah. She's gonna be passing the cellar. In the <laughs> 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 well, she will have material. Dude. <laughs> if your parents are piles of garbage, you're gonna have, you're gonna have a good 20 minute chunk that's gonna crush. Dude. Yeah, man, I honestly think the, like, the other option, too, is to look at the little girl and go, remember my face. Your mother is bad. And yeah. you got to get through this. But your mo you, you're okay. Yeah. You can't. This is bad. This isn't right. I yeah. know you love her, yeah. but she's wrong. But you wonder if that, does that help? Like, I don't know. If, like, if, my, if my mom was yelling at me and someone stopped us and then berated my mom in public. I tell you when it helps. I'm not sure that would help me. It helps you in like, 20 years. Oh my years. God, my whole family sucks. What? It, it helps you in 15 Maybe, years when you're yeah. like, hey, I love my mom. She was cool. And then you go, oh, wait a minute. Maybe she wasn't. Yeah, Remember that yeah. guy in the mall that threw pizza in her face? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, this has been happening for a while. Yeah. Maybe it's not me. Yeah. It's her. Yeah. Yeah. And then they're like, which guy? Yeah. Like, that was a fourth time. In <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a lot of pizza. He smushed a fucking mozzarella yeah. face yeah. right there. He's Describe a car mozzarella pizza face. guy. Yeah. Dude, because I, you know, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm thinking the same thing. It's like, it, it would be shocking at some point, but at nine years old, you're not five, right? So the development there, you'd have to know that her, her behavior is a little intense, a little awkward. Not if bad. you have enough social awareness, right? right? So like, maybe no, your friends aren't getting treated and bullied like that. So- but you still think your mom is a hero. You still think she's right. the best. Yes. Not till you're like Dude. 30. Does it click? Yeah. You Dude, know, why do you walk like that? It's crazy. You Insane. walk like a duck. You know Dude, why I walk like that? When you're nine, literally, bro? the reason she walks like that is because this fat pig didn't exercise while she was in the womb. That's what makes duck feet and pigeon toes. You know, Dude, this? she didn't even like she Wait, was what? not even walking that bad. <laughs> I'm not kidding. All right, I gotta get my <clears> wife to agree. If your feet are like, your this, feet are like, or this? like this, yeah. it's your positioning in the womb. Mm. Yeah. Are you that's sure? That's not her fault. My wife? It's the mom. Oh. Well, no, that's something about my wife now. I don't want these duck toes. I got to call her. No, dude. That, my fucking kid. My kid comes out with duck. I'm having, I'm having a talk with my wife. <laughs> and that kid's getting strapped in braces like Forrest Gump. Yeah. I'm fixing that shit. <laughs> that motherfucker's skating straight, dude. Yeah, it's like misery. <laughs> <laughs> Bite down on the slickers, honey. <laughs> 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 uh, 
No, that's honestly a true thing. It's about positioning. So they're in the womb like this and they, they're not moving and stuff. So making fun of your child for looking like it, walking like a dog. Dude, she wasn't that's even, your fault. Right. Yeah. The kid, nine years old, nothing is that kid's fault. Yeah. Nothing. 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 It's right? like looking at it like a, you know, those like, like a, like a couple month old puppy when they're like goofy as fuck. Yeah. And yeah. Being Why like, are you walking like what that? What the fuck? <laughs> it's right. like, yeah, they're, they're weird growth <laughs> period. Yeah. You just fucking relax. Yeah. I hate this place, man. <laughs> and it's also like, Earth? this is this Earth. Is, what yeah. do you, we show this this UFO UFO shit? What UFO shit? I'm not in tuned in. I've been seeing weird things. What's going on with UFO shit? Bro. Please tell me. I didn't I see. I don't look at anything. No, there's video. Oh, there's, video there's, there's, there's video of something, right? You're not talking about the things they're shooting down over Alaska. We shot one down over Alaska. This is after the Chinese. Those are Chinese born. weather balloons. I thought. Yeah, they, yeah. they said that. And then the there was like some. I guess like the pilots. There's there's. The different opinions and uh, accounts from these pilots that said like what they saw. And apparently it's no longer just balloons. That's what the, that's what they're trying to draw. Okay. But the media's yeah. not saying anything. They're saying another thing was shot. Yeah. Down. Yeah. We're not shooting down UFOs. If they can get to I earth, hope, I they hope, can dodge. A I hope fucking not. I Tom fucking Cat. hope not. Yeah. And they're not there. They said one was no, unmanned. If we started shooting them down. Yeah. If they, if they like, if they haven't told us about aliens yet, yet, but they like they got enough on aliens to be like, we can fuck. Them. Would you rather <laughs> live take these motherfuckers? They're not gonna let them fucking. Yeah, <laughs> turns out all aliens are bitches. Yeah, like they, yeah, they're just yeah. not savages over there, so they have I no mean, weapons. <laughs> Dude, I didn't expect any of this. If it's it, just great with communication. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> stellar communicators. Yeah, yeah. No, we just grew up with a bunch of resources, yeah, so we never yeah, had to fight. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we just never told our nine-year-old alien children they walk different. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. We raised a good civilization. <laughs> Dude, Who's Jeff? We don't have any of them yeah, here. Yeah. Zero Jeff. What the hell is yeah. Yeah. That would be sick. If we were fucking up aliens. That, I mean, at this point, aliens are bitches. If they've been here, right. they're bitches. Wait, expand. Show yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Show yourself. Show yourself, sure. I mean, they tried it. We shot them down. Well, I mean, I get. I hope so. I hope. Like, I, honestly, I'm. I support the military. If the, if they are like those were aliens and they won't show themselves, and the next time we saw them, we blew one up. I would be like, yes, that's the right move. <laughs> Can't let these guys just fly around our planet. Like, we don't know what the fuck is yeah. up. Yeah, this alien skipping in line and starting. <laughs> yeah, 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 he handled it with grace. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're like, we still be alive. alive. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I would love they're like, oh yeah, like we, we've been here for years. What do you think an Italian is? And it's like, oh, that's why I'm like, they're all Italians. <laughs> Italians. Yeah, that's, that's a, Matt Wayne used to call them Italian. I don't know. No, it's a play on words. Italian aliens. Yeah, you know, sure. It, 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 I gotta piss. I love that. I love that too. And they're always they always talk about fucking the pyramids and shit. And it's like aliens must have built it. It's like why? Yeah, for what? Why? Right. None of it makes any sense. They flew here from space, and they're gonna make a stone monument. That's yeah. fucking bullshit. Yeah. Why wouldn't they tell them about metal? So like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they flew here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell them about titanium. Yeah. Aluminum. I hear you. What the fuck? Are you an alien guy? You think aliens are cooking around? Uh, I get this, the Carl Sagan quote. If, if there are no aliens, it's an awful waste of space. Right. But you're not thinking of just space. It's time. Right? Yeah. So yeah. Like, it's the, like they don't exist now. They just existed a billion years before or a billion years later. Uh, yeah. Well, that's the thing. Well, that's the, I guess the thing is the, the I, that's the Fermi problem or whatever is that based on how old the universe is. Mm -hmm. There should be fucking life everywhere. Right. You no, know? I don't know. I mean, maybe, but like the fucking insane amount of coincidences you need to hit life is pretty, is pretty hard. Yeah. Yeah. To line up. But that's how big the universe is. It's pretty fucking big. Yeah. yeah but, it's and, so big. And they just need to know how to get here. Yeah. That's the thing too. And they are like, I mean, think about it. It's like, we've only been really doing cool shit for like 2000 years. Yeah. For like five. Yeah. That's, Maybe a little bit longer than that. Oh, my back. But it's like, your back hurts? Something happened. I think I twisted it. You I'm want, you can put this a little support. A little Thanks. support pillow. That's what happens when you get old, man. You just sit in the wrong way. Now my back hurts. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I did that on the train today. I was like this. Now my guy crick in my neck. 
That's going to be a piece of cake. Yeah, because we both fucking need it, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah, this adds from something we both should be doing. Yeah. I seriously not. I need to start talking to somebody. It's crazy. I know. It's absolutely crazy. Can't, you know, can't burden your friends with this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Apology accepted. Dude. It's just like <laughs> it's just you gotta. Yeah, you know. just gotta fucking. D- y- 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 I keep saying it because so, I keep thinking about it like dating. Like it's gonna it's gonna be this long process that I don't want to start. You know what I mean? Yeah, but it doesn't have to be. I would imagine, right? Anyway, this is sponsored by BetterHelp. This episode, BetterHelp should have a thing in their app where you can like see who your friends are talking to. You know, mm. almost like Venmo or whatever. Yeah. You can see other transactions. Yeah. Mutual and, friends. Yeah, and be like, okay. Yeah. You're that lady, is she good? Yeah. You know? Does Martha, is she speaking the shame? Yeah. You find your one friend that really seems like they got their shit straight. Or you, you find someone that's not talking to any of your friends. Yes. I'd want that. Like there's this, there's this comic uh, therapist that I yeah. heard about like 10 years ago that only talks to comics. And I was like, fuck no, dude. Yeah. I do not want no somebody way. who knows. Because once you wrangle one, it's like training a dog. Like once yeah. you wrangle one comic, he's got the secrets to all these other fucking idiots. Yes. You know what I mean? And there's just 10 more guys going, oh, you might like what, the, you know, he's just now he's a cheat sheet. Like yeah. Quarterback flipping. I'm going like, all right, well, code is this. Yeah. I know how to get out of this guy's fucking head. Yeah. Dude, my brother was seeing a lady and she said recently she was just like, uh, you're good. <laughs> really? Yeah. She was like, we did it. You're good. She didn't need the money. I don't know. And he was like, what? Like, we haven't even got started. Yeah. I, yeah. Like, I'm just starting to. Was he naked in the, in the Zoom? <laughs> she was like, you're fine, dude. I can't do this no, anymore. I seen her in person. He was just saying that she was just like, nah, you seem like you we did it. Yeah, I think. I'm going to do it. This I can't way. tell whether I respect that or I don't like it. I respect it a little bit. Listen, if it's after three weeks or a month, you know enough. She does it in the first episode. It's kind of shady. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You don't know. You don't know anything. Right. About, you don't, I mean, even if you're fucking them, you don't know anything. But about isn't it person. the talking that helps like the talking yeah. this stuff through? You yeah. Know? And you have to assume as a therapist, which I don't know, better helps professionals will know this, but it, you know, you know they're going to put the, the their first like I don't know six meetings are still a costume. Yeah, you know you're taking your costume yes, off. Like, yes. how do I get to know this yes, guy? Yes, everything he says to me for the first few hours, it's not really what he wants to tell me. Yeah, of course, the first it's three a boxing months, match, yeah, dude. yeah, you're fucking feeling each other out. Yeah, the first the first three months is just you fucking you made up a thing. Yeah, to focus on. <laughs> yeah, you know? right, right. Yeah, you don't get down to the. Yeah, the whole time. Yet. I mean, the first three meetings, I'm staring at that woman's nose going, eh, what? I'm going to listen to this. Bitch. Yeah. yeah. What's our eyelashes face? Yeah. <laughs> what does this guy do with the rest of the day? I'm like, yeah, my dad beat me with a belt. Why are you wearing so much makeup? Yeah. When life gets you feeling overwhelmed, Owen, working with a therapist can make you feel prepared and take on life. True. What if I, I don't want this, I don't want them fixing you that much though. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean- I take all, I'll take the fixing. The fact that you believe it can be fixed. <laughs> <laughs> Better helps a therapy option that's convenient, flexible, affordable, and entirely online. Just fill out a brief questionnaire, get matched with a licensed therapist, and switch therapists at any time for a, no additional charge. That's big. Yes. See, this is, that's in the clause for me that makes me want to do it more. Yeah, you can jump around. Yeah, I'm getting charged $5 for canceling Uber when this fuckface can't figure it out around the block. Dude, you know what I mean, but if I'm talking to somebody and I'm like, I don't like this dude, you can dude, if, I, if I see an Uber mix, miss an exit, Ugh. it's like cancel dude. the trip, dude. dude. It's nuts. You're gonna make me wait 11 minutes now. <laughs> well, guess what, Chris? It couldn't be easier. If you want to live a more empowered life, therapy can get you there. Visit betterhelp.com slash stuff island today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H E L P.com slash stuff island. 10% off your first month. Yeah, maybe I'll, I'll do it. I think we deserve a free trial run. <laughs> to be honest with you. And it's a flat fee that you pay and then you just get to choose a therapist? Yeah. Well, they choose a therapist for you based on your questionnaire. 
Because uh, okay. I did the first step. I filled out this questionnaire. They ask you a series of questions, which they can then pinpoint what specialists in a certain area of therapy that you might be. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's, that's not going to work for me. No, the questions are fine. They're no, not no, no. Like, I'm just saying that it's like, <laughs> give, whoever me a, they give me a little on. credit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to make it more you're not difficult. Gonna, you're going to know who I am based <laughs> off your little questionnaire. You're not going to nail it on the first try. I, I change. Sorry. I'm yeah. Keep the bits going. Do you think they're aliens? I think they are. I don't know that they've come here. I don't think we've it seen them. It seems crazy that I they definitely would come here ghosts. and not just be like, hey, how's it going? Yeah. But I also get it. It's like, hey, man, we don't want to like... <sighs> You know when you have like a friend who's dating a shitty girl and you're like, I really can't interfere. Yeah. Like I think no. that's kind of what they're 100%. doing with us. Like they're yeah. like, we can't get involved in that. This is whole way too much. is a shitty girlfriend. Yeah. 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 If you have the ability to fucking move up beyond the laws of physics, you don't want nothing to do with us. Right. Well, who was it that said that? They better have a good explanation. They, should, they better be like, we tried it like five times. We tried it. Yeah. The greatest and analogy the I heard. Civilization just kept destroying the themselves. Earth. Yeah. Yeah. We, so we just said, let them ride it out. Yeah. I would love for them to come and just be like, we're in control now. Don't worry. You're going to have food. You'll be fine. But no more. You guys really can't regulate yourselves. Right. You know what? Like, I always think about like, you know, when like, a duck is like an oil spill and then like people are cleaning the ducks or like if someone finds like a squirrel in a fence and they fix it. I wish we had that. I mm -hmm. wish it's like, yes, you know, it's like someone's like, I got cancer. Some fucking guy, like some big ass hand grabs me, fixes me up, puts me yeah. back. Yeah. You know, I hate being the top of the food chain. Chris, this is what you should have done. You should have yeah. knocked that bitch out and took that nine year old home. Yeah. Now that's you your raise her like a, like a good gal. <laughs> Take her to soccer practice. Yeah. A month yeah. later, I'm like, yeah. we talked about this. <laughs> <laughs> They're not open. Don't uh, move the ball. She was right the whole time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, there was a, a, a astronomer. I forget. I don't know. Physicist or whatever you call him. He was like, it's, it might have been Hawking. I don't know if it was Hawking, but talked about like how you feel walking over an ant farm. Yeah. And seeing ants do their own thing and like yeah. live in their own organism and their organization of like their fucking, their, their whole thing. And it's like, you're, you're not bothered by that. You're like, how fucking stupid these dudes are. Yeah. Yeah. They're just trying to eat and trying to get by. Yeah. So he, the analogy was like, they come over us and I'm like, look how fucking dumb these ants are. Yeah. And they piss no, off. Like, I what, don't, I don't well, what am I going to do to help these idiots? They're so far beyond where we are. And if you do believe in aliens and the vastness of the galaxy, there's so many areas where life could potentially be. I mean, we've already located so many that, that have the same elements yeah. of earth within our galaxy. And there's billions of galaxies. Yeah. You don't think there's pods of these dudes bopping around going, all right, what's up? You know? Right. Just jumping on the turnpike, heading down South, see what's up. <laughs> yeah. And then they come back going, these, no, but if there's space, no, there's no way you think it's like, it's, it's like, uh, there's people like on vacation and they stumbled on us. Well, that'd be, that's interesting. That makes more sense. Where they're like, whoa, I mean, we can't. Key West is pretty fucking I don't know cool, anything dude. about. <laughs> I don't know anything about <laughs> turtles. I didn't touch them, but there's, look at them. They're over there. It's like that kind of thing. You know what when I mean? You see, dude, it's, it's like, like a sea lion colony or something. You're, you're, it's you're, like, whoa, did you in get your involved? 20s? No, I don't, I'm not going to touch. Yeah. In your 20s, well, the first, any, first time you see an iguana, you're like, whoa, fucking <laughs> land lizard. <laughs> We don't have those. We only have frogs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you think you're in another fucking planet? <laughs> you drove three hours, dude. You're in South Carolina, you trash bag. <laughs> like aliens just show up in Ukraine. They're just hitting me with water spray. Like, stop, stop it. Yeah. Just spray each other. <laughs> stop it. What are you doing? <laughs> you're fucking your fucking mind. Relax. <laughs> He's spraying us up. Like annoying cats. Yeah. 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 Totally. <laughs> that would be incredible if the, if the alien, that's why they don't like show themselves. It's because they're like, it's literally just like tour guides. You know what I mean? It's like, they're just on vacation. There's yeah. a tour guide and they're like, there's a great planet. <laughs> they're doing some wild yeah. stuff. You gotta be super quiet. Yeah. 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 So you're looking for with... five days of relaxation. <laughs> yeah. You can just watch them. They got a whole thing. I don't know what they're doing yet, which is fun. This is where we used to be. You, you know could I mean? be there when they destroy themselves. Yeah. yeah. Cause it's going to happen soon. Dude, this is the conversation I had yeah, with yeah, my yeah, yeah. Uber driver last yeah. week. Oh, he was like, uh, <laughs> he's from like, um, some uh, Brazil or something. And he asked me where I was from. I was like, I'm from Philly. He picked me up from the airport and we came back from uh, uh, San Antonio. And he was like, um, he's like, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to Philadelphia next week with, with my wife for the first time. I was like, what? 
He's like, yeah, we're going Saturday. I was like, do you know what Sunday is? <laughs> I was like, it's a fucking Super Bowl. Could you imagine? Dude. And I was like, you have no idea what's about to happen. Yeah. Right. If it does, in the greatest case scenario, it's still going to be an experience you, you can't see anywhere else on earth. Right. Yeah. Especially in that fucking city. Yeah. yeah. So you're not going to get a restaurant. You go, <laughs> order in. Yeah. And if it happens, walk outside for 10 minutes and get the fuck yeah. back in. But it's that, to see. That yeah. was that was like World War II for alien tourism. Yeah, <laughs> right. that, that was like, you're not going to believe what's happening. <laughs> it's crazy what's yeah. going on right now. This this happens never this yeah. happened. There's yeah. a fat white guy in front of the art museum screaming at a million people. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you don't go to Florida. It's like, you know, Hurricane Andrew's coming, right? <laughs> Jesus. That was a 94 reference. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, right in my wheelhouse. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but a Guns N' Roses cut off tape, baby. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go to the page. Head, head over to the page. Yeah, we got to do some ads. Oh, I thought you, you both looked like you were getting up. 